everybody welcome back to our channel so today is July 1st and my kids and I will be uh, participating in another low spin slash no spin month doing a pantry fridge and freezer clean out so the way this is gonna work is if you saw my budget video and my budget update I'll try to link those in the description box below so that you can see them you will know by watching those videos that my children and I are very low to almost no grocery money for the month of July no problem at all I am a couponer I coupon very heavily all year long not so much maybe in the summertime because I am a little bit shorter on funds but I coupon all year long so that I'm able to have a lot of stores in the house meaning we can make it through a month or two uh, without shopping or shopping for bare minimum things because we have so much in the house so the kids and I have already taken our pantry inventory and we'll show you through the house what we have and how we're going to work this month's grocery budget or lack thereof and we just thought we'd bring you along as we make it through the month of July eating out of what's in our fridge what's in our freezer and what's in our pantry please do forgive our dishwasher it is going at the moment so here is our pantry our inside pantry and this is after we have already done the June low spin we did that one with frugal family food so from the top down I have lots of coffee so still a couple bags of coffee I think I have five bags we have a few shelf condiments here and then here are here is the majority of what we have in our uh, pantry we have a huge amount or still a large amount of black beans we've got some baked beans we have soups that we can incorporate into meals we also have kidney beans um, this salad dressing I'm going to use for something I'm going to make a batch of tuna we have spam I have uh, two large cans and then in this bucket right here I have 14 small single packs we have a few snacks left for the kids there's some applesauce there's some um, elevation bars a few pop tarts left and some uh, drink fizzy stuff stuff for waters so that's all the snacks we have we have just a few little bits of chips here left and then in this box right here we have three different ba uh, bags of cereal we were uh, the kids had opened up several so we have some um, special K raisin bran and then in the very bottom is their um, Captain Crunch we got waters we're probably gonna need to get grace some food this month for sure but that's pretty much what we have in our pantry heading over to our freezer um, this is what we have in the freezer so I've got a couple Nutrisystem meals back there. We have a half a bag of breakfast burritos, some waffles. These are all veggies, veggies, veggies. I have two packages of hamburgers that I got on Markdown at Harris Teeter and one package of um, chicken thighs, uh, thigh fillets in there. And then I've got some of those whole fruit um, coconut bars in there. So that's what we have in the freezer. And then in the fridge, we have pretty much cleaned out in here as well. I have a quarter of a gallon of milk. I have a little bit of some almond milk back here. And then there's some V8, some diet V8 juice. Um, I've got a few eggs. I've got one of those um, pizza roll things. And then in the back of there is some string cheese. You probably can't see it. These are the use it up. So tonight we're going to probably have mashed potato bowls. There's some sausage down there that I'm going to use with that. A little bit of cheese. And then we've got a couple things here. There's some broccoli that will go in there. Uh, this is a little bit of tuna that the kids can have for lunch tomorrow. Here we've got uh, lunch meat. We've got pepperoni. We found uh, these sausages in the, in the outside freezer. We have uh, sliced cheese. A little bit of shredded cheese. Then we also have yogurts. And then down here we have some water, the bagel chips, and the Premier Protein. There's some bread here in this, and then we have a little bit of salad stuffs. Up here in the inside uh, pantry, we still do have uh, pasta sauce, pumpkin, 
and some pasta here a little bit of bake baking supplies peanut butter so that's what we have on the inside of the house and then out here in the garage freezer which is a little bit lighter than what we are used to but that's fine if we can get rid of some of the things and I can defrost this clean it out and fill it again so I have four packs of steak I actually have another pack way down deep in there I've got two more things of sandwich meat there's a big bag of chicken down there I've got some cheese dip here this is a huge ham I've got three packages of sausages in there one pack of the fat uh, uh, salted pork lots of Nutrisystem here and then lots of Nutrisystem under there and Nutrisystem here so um, we have some meats we've got some cheeses I've got some biscuits down in there and then also underneath these Nutrisystem things there are several pizza dough crusts and some pastry crusts as well and then of course here's my pantry storage so things that the kids could have for their uh, lunches would be some of the noodles here um, we have plenty of the nutri thins for snacks we've got popcorn for snacks um, there's Chex Mix up in here for snacks I've got salad dressing coming out of my ears that I have to find a place for um, I probably try to rehome some of that stuff we've got plenty of tacos stuff and then we have another thing of cereal here and then one more thing of cereal here more crackers so we have plenty enough things in here to get us through our low spin or no spin month we've got rice and then potatoes more pasta so we've got plenty of things in our fridge in our freezer and in the pantry that we're going to put together some meals and some menus for us to make it through we are traveling for some short trips this month so we'll be in and out um, it's different days so it's and it's not like long periods of time it's a day trip here back you know go here come back so the kids and I have some flexibility in meals but I wanted to share with you that even though we're doing a low spin or no spin month you just have to have some staple items and of course I didn't have any grocery money set aside I did get a kids deposit yesterday so I allocated myself $25 to spend for this week's of groceries however I don't grocery shop until Wednesday I'm filming this on a Sunday so we needed a few staples today so if I only allocated myself for $25 for the week starting on Wednesday how do I get groceries for today what I did I know Dave Ramsey says don't take money out of one envelope versus another but I had Walgreens and CVS couponing money from June that I did not spend I allocated myself ten dollars and I only spent two dollars and fifty cent out of that envelope so I had eight dollars and fifty cent left with the eight dollars and fifty cents that I had left I used that to pick up my groceries that I needed for today just staples I didn't get anything else also I allocated in our July budget for $20 for the gifts for the little girls we're going to a birthday party on Saturday I spent $17 and some change so I got $2 and some change back I put that with my $10 the change that I had so it equaled out like $12 and some change so let me show you what I was able to get from Walmart using the $12 and some change that I had for groceries today okay so here are the things that I picked up that we needed that I would consider staples for us just to make it through until we go to groceries on Wednesday so I needed paper plates we've been out without paper plates for quite a while now and we are washing our dishes because we do have regular plates but in the long run to run the dishwasher it does take more so I'd rather just spend a dollar and some change on paper plates we got 60 in this pack and this will take us at least through this week I got 18 large eggs because the kids and I just consume a large amount of eggs um, trying to stay as low carb as we can and also trying to be full longer um, this is a good source of protein for us I got um, some fat free half and half for my coffee because I was totally out of this and then I got this parquet spray butter this works just like I can't believe it's not butter you can scan this on your uh, Weight Watcher app and it comes up for zero points for a certain amount number of sprays 
I picked up this Pillsbury Sugar Free Premium Cake Mix in Devil's Food brand because I have some bananas that I need to use. So I'm going to do a chocolate chip banana bread and that's going to be enough to get us through this week just as far as it may be breakfast. It could be a lunch or a late night snack. The next thing I got was this canola oil spray. I always get oil spray and this one is bigger than the one I normally get and it's also cheaper. This was a dollar and 38 cents. So I'm thinking, but I don't go to Walmart very often. So I happened to be in there getting the gifts for the little girls. And so I said, let's pick up what we needed so we didn't have to go to another store. But um, I just got a big spray oil. I picked up some hot dog buns because we don't have hot dogs, but we do have three packages of sausages. And then we picked up one of the wheat breads because we have peanut butter and jelly. We also have cheese slices so we could do grilled cheeses. So let me put together my menu plan and then I'll come back and let you know what we come up with. Okay, everybody, so here's what I was able to do. Again, I use this sheet that I just printed offline, cut down to size, and put in this uh, Dollar Tree picture frame. I have this menu marked out for July 1st, which is today on Sunday, going through the 7th, which is Saturday of next week. And some doable meals based on what we already have on hand. So we can have spam sandwiches, pizza, pasta and sausage, sausage and rice, salmon and rice, uh, breakfast for dinner, tuna salad, macaroni salad, meat and cheese sandwiches, hamburgers and chips, um, sausage on buns, chicken and rice, chicken and veggies, Mississippi rolls, chili, taco soup, black bean burgers, soup and sandwiches, potato bowls, Philly cheese steaks. We gonna we could have like sweet pizzas, and then over here I wrote down some breakfast ideas, things we have that the kids can choose from. They can have eggs and toast, waffles, grits or oatmeal, um, banana bread, cereal milk or breakfast burritos. And then for their lunches, they could have tuna on bread, PB and J, ham and cheese, grilled cheese and soup. So then I go back up and I think about what do I have going on throughout my week. That's going to determine what my meals are going to be. So nothing is filled in yet because I'm not sure what I'm going to cook. I am a... Uh, decide that day. I don't really like meal plan ahead. I just it's whatever hit me at the moment. So today is Sunday. Um, breakfast was grab and go. The kids just got whatever they could. For lunch the kids made homemade pizzas and then for dinner we're having potato bowls so that we can use up some mashed potatoes that we have in the fridge. Tomorrow um, the kids have to get their allergy shots. They actually have an eye appointment. They have to have some blood work done and I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow. So we're going to need to have quick lunches and quick dinner because we have a lot going on on Monday. Tuesday and they're actually having fasting blood work so they won't even eat breakfast until we get back because they have to be fasting. Um, Tuesday we have Taekwondo. I usually have a band practice on Tuesdays because I sing in the church. But it's canceled this week because our leader has to work. Wednesday is the 4th of July. This might be a great day to do those sausages with on buns with maybe some baked beans. Because that might work for us. Um, Thursday I have my ladies meeting. That's at 9. I usually try to be done by then. But we usually keep late evenings. So I'm going to have to do a quick dinner on Thursdays. Even if we are home, I still like to be done so that I can sit and prep. And just have a little bit of time before I actually um, get on the ladies call. Friday we just have Taekwondo so that day is pretty much open. And then on Saturday we have a birthday party and I'm going with my sister and a friend to a girls day. So one of the things I just like to do is kind of plan out my week a little bit. I know what kind of meals I can put together. And then as my week goes along I'll begin to fill in my menu plan. So pretty much that's it for us for day one of the no spin, low spin um, July. Eating what's in our fridge, our freezer, and our pantry. I think the kids and I are going to do well. We made some great choices at the grocery store this morning, spending our $12. And I will say this, I had to use change because I had like 2 or $3 worth of quarters and then some extra change in my wallet. And sometimes when you're a proud person, that can weigh on you a little bit like oh my gosh I gotta use change I went to the self checkout I just put my little coins in nobody was paying me any attention because they were doing their own thing so I had to let that go no I didn't have the money to swipe my debit card no I didn't just have the cash I could pull out but I had $12 no matter how it worked out I still had $12.18 that I needed to pay for the groceries that I got this morning so 
if you're doing a low spin or a no spin and, and you may be suffering like I was, with, oh my gosh, you know, people are going to be looking at me. Nobody cares. I mean, really, honestly, people are so busy doing their own thing. Just do what you have to do for your children. It's going to be fine. And your family, if it's just you and your spouse, if it's just you, whomever, make it work for you. So my kids and I, we feel really good. I don't have any apprehension. I don't have any angst. I'm not feeling nervous or anything. I'm just going to make the best use of the things that I have in my refrigerator or at my disposal so that my kids and I will get through July without even knowing that we were on a low spin or a no spin. I am going to be coming up with ways to get the fresh things that we need, milk, eggs, bread, that I'll buy every week. Other than that, I don't have any big plans to coupon this month. There is a Super Doubles coming up in the next week is rumored and so what i'm gonna focus on if i shop super doubles are the things i can get for free i don't even have the luxury of cheap this time i just have to get what i can get for free so i'm going to be looking for as many dollar and two dollar coupons as i can and as many sale items as i can if i shop super doubles i'm trying to make sure that i remember in my head shakima you're on a no spin so you don't have any money to spend so that's just my reality if I do shop super doubles, it will be because those items are free. So anyway, that's our intro to the low spin July. Hope you come along with us. If you have any questions, leave us a comment below. If you're new to our channel, hit the red subscribe button. We love to keep you as a part of our YouTube community. Also hit the little bell. That way you never miss an upload from us. If you're struggling with your monthly budget, head over and check out my budget chit chat that I uploaded yesterday. We would be so glad to have you leave us any comments or ask us any questions. Thank you so much for stopping by our kitchen. And until we do the low spin, no spin challenge, pantry challenge again, bye now.